citrus cherry flavor. Citrus cherry flavor Mountain Dew. Ah, wonderful. It's heaven in a bottle. Anyway, hey everybody, AC here, and welcome to another episode of Gaming Month. Uh, this time, we are talking about my number 11 favorite video game of all time, Senran Kagura Estival Versus. Uh, I love the Senran Kagura games. I really do. I, I love them so- I love them so much. Um... I have played a few of them on my channel. I, I played Estival Versus, I played Peachy Beachy Splash You, I played Reburst, and I played uh, Senran Kagura X Neptunia Nin uh, Ninja Wars. Um, those are the four Senran Kagura games I've played, and I would absolutely love to play the others. Um, uh, Senran Kagura 2 Deep Crimson, Senran Kagura Bon Appetit, uh, Senran, Ka uh, Senran Kagura... Uh, uh, Senran Kagura... Um, uh, Shinobi versus, um, uh, Sh Shinobi Recollections, I believe, Sh Shinobi Recollec uh, Recollection Recollections, I think, is what it's called, um, and then Shin and then Peach Beach Bowl. I would love to play all five of those. I absolutely would. Unfortunately, uh, Shinobi Recollections and Peach Beach Ball are on the switch so i and i don't have proper recording equipment to do that once i do have proper recording equipment i 100 percent am going to uh play those games definitely absolutely and once i get my hands on a steam deck and i'm able to record games from my stuff uh, that i have on steam to uh to youtube once i'm able to do that then heck yeah i'm recording Deep, I'm recording Deep Crimson, Bon Appetit, and Shinobi, Ver and Shinobi Versus. Absolutely. Um, uh, but uh, of all of the games that I've played, Estival Versus is my personal favorite. Estival Versus is my personal favorite uh, game uh, in, in the series. Um, it, it, it just... It has... The best fighting, it has the best, um, it has the best gameplay, the best fighting, uh, the best fighting mechanics of all of the Senra and Kagura games that I've played. Um, uh, and, uh, it has, it is, it has the second most characters, most playable characters of the mainline games. It has the second most playable characters of the mainline games, um, the, the the one that has the most playable characters is uh, Peachy Beachy Splash You, but the problem with that game is that they all play the exact same. It's all just water gun fights. So it's they're not actually fighting themselves. They're, it's just water gun fights. So it's still that it was still a fun game. Absolutely it, it was absolutely a fun game. But um when I think of Senran Kagura, the, the first game that comes to my mind is Estival Versus. It was also my first uh, Cinema Kagura game. It was the first one that I played. You never forget your first. Y you never forget your first. Uh, <laughs> and, uh... Uh, yeah, the, the game is just wonderful. The, the, game is won uh, the game is wonderful. The game plays wonderful. I love each of the, I love each of the characters. I love the story of Cinema Kagura, and I hate that we will never see the end of the story! Uh, <laughs> seven mainline games... Seven mainline games, five, uh, the, uh, oh no, technically six mainline games, six mainline games, five spinoff ga five spinoff games, the seventh mainline game, which was going to be called Senran Kagura Sevens, was supposed to be the finale. It was supposed to be the end of the series. It was supposed to wrap everything up. And we're just never going to get it because... Sony decided. Uh, Sony decided to change its policy. Uh, change its policy uh, policies when the game was already like halfway done. The game was already like more than. Uh, well, the game was already like halfway done, or more than halfway done, or something like that. And uh, and Sony decided to change its policies so that way they wouldn't be able to release the game without without basically turning it in, turning it into something it's not. Like it's it's a 
bunch of it's a bunch of curvy voluptuous uh, curvy voluptuous ninja girls um in revealing in revealing outfits fighting each other and ripping each other's clo- uh, ripping each other's clothes off um and they would basically have to make it to where every single one of their outfits would be a lot more conservative they'd have to tone down the sizes of everyone's boobs and butts and they'd have to and they'd have to make it to where you don't rip each other's clothes off and they they basically would have to completely alter everything about what makes Senran Kagura Senran Kagura. They'd have to alter everything about it uh, in order to in order to get the game out. And they the developers just weren't willing to do that. Would they weren't willing to compromise on that? They wanted to release their version of the game, and unfortunately, Sony just scrapped the whole project. Um, it was in development hell for several years, and the developers were fighting to. Uh, to convince Sony to let them uh, to let them uh, release the game, to let them finish and release the game, to end the franchise on a good note, and uh, Sony just wouldn't let them. Sony would not let them, and the game was scrapped. And the game was scrapped. And so we will never know how the game ends. We will never know how the story ends, and that just sucks so hard. That sucks so hard. So yeah, uh, but the game the, the game is so much fun. The gameplay is ama- the gameplay is amazing. Of course, I have my favorite character. I have my favorite characters, both from like uh, both from story perspective and from gameplay perspective. Um, like gameplay perspective, like my favorite char- gameplay perspective. My favorite characters are Homura, Yumi, and Rin. My, my absolute favorite character is Rin by far. Um, but like in terms of like in terms of like uh character personality uh character personality my favorite char- uh pers- uh, in terms of personalities my favorite characters are um are Murasaki Miyabi and uh <laughs> uh Daidoji like those are my favorite characters in terms of just pure personality because they are just such entertaining characters. Um, oh yeah, Riona. Riona is also a really good. She's hilarious. Riona makes me laugh. Um, but yeah, but like those are my favorite characters in terms of pure personality. But I'm not that big of a fan of their gameplay, of the way they play. But I love their personalities. I love their char- the characters. Uh, I love all of these characters. They're all wonderful. I can't think of a single character that I actually don't like. They're all they're all wonderful characters in their own ways. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's a fantastic game, and I love it so I love it so much. And uh, I one hundred percent of the game once, never again, never again. <laughs> I one hundred percent of the game when I first uh, when I first got it, spent like a thousand hours to I spent over a thousand hours trying to one hundred percent the game, one hundred percent of the game. I am never gonna one hundred percent the game again. Because there's like well over 200 missions that you have to. There's like well over 200 missions um, in total between all the different gameplay modes. There's like well over 200 missions that you have to play three separate times: once on easy, once on medium, once on hard mode, uh, and you have to get a star rank. So there's uh, there's uh, there's D uh, there's D C B A and A star. A star is the A star is the is the best rank is the best rank in the game, and you have to get a star rank on every single one of the two hundred missions, and you have to do that for every single mode. Meaning you're, uh, meaning you are basically going through six hundred different missions, um, and you have to get all thirty five characters, uh, to level fifty, uh, to level uh fifty, uh, to level fifty. 50 or 55 i think it's 50 um the the max uh, max level uh and you have to get every single and you have to get every single collectible and you have to see every sing and you have to see every single unique fail with every single character and you have to buy every single thing in the shop which also includes all of the accessories that you have uh, that you have to spend real life money in order to purchase because this game has a shit ton of dlc that you can uh, that you can purchase some of these DLC are new characters. Some of them are new gameplay modes. Some of them are just pure ex- are just pure accessories or out- uh, or outfits or uh, or or unique weapons. 
but you have to purchase all of it. Uh, you have to purchase all of it. So, yeah. It's... Uh, man, it, it, it's a lot. I, I, I no joke, um, the, the main game I pay, I have the special edition of the main game, and that took, and that costed, like, a hundred dollars to get the special edition, because it came with a bunch of awesome stuff, um, and, uh, I had to pay it an extra two hundred in order to buy, in order to buy all of the DLC and accessories and everything, so I spent like three hundred dollars on this game on this game in order to one hundred percent it, and I'm just like, nope, never again. I am never doing something like this again. So, yeah. But I still love this game, and that's why it's here at number uh, number eleven. So that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.